My name is Chomwe Eze. Please, my Nibo girl. Nibo girl. Anambra. Anambra. Please vote in next year, ma. Since I was born, I've never voted before, but I'm I'm going to vote for this coming one because we come out in every force, in fact, to support the next president that we all had in mind with the Igbos, which I know is Mr. Peter Obi. Peter Obi. Why yes. do you want to vote for Peter Obi? I'm voting for him because I see future in the, in the life of Diamond because when somebody will be campaigning, we will be telling her that Emilio Ko. Why the outsider will be saying our Waloko? Where people don't part of the East are you from? Anambra said precisely. Anambra said, please. I will vote for Peter B. I will vote for Peter B. Not because he's from my state. No, I don't is he's my brother because he's not even giving me money. And I am, I'm sure that even if I vote for him, he will not give him money. Even if I did not vote for him, he will not even give him money. But Hi everyone, welcome back again to my channel. Guys, I'm back again with another episode of who will be the next president of Nigeria. So guys, I am currently, or rather, this public opinion poll will be taking place in Dugbe in Ibadan. Okay? Dugbe in Ibadan is a popular market in Ibadan where we have mostly of the easterners okay so this is where we're going to be taking our today's public opinion poll so guys watch and I good afternoon sir good afternoon please can we meet you yeah my name is emeka Gumado. please do you have a task card yes i have okay please what part of the Igbo are you from i'm from anambra state Yala. so who are you going to be voting for next year my vote goes for Peter Obi. Oh, Peter Obi. Okay. Yeah. Please, can you identify the party here? Okay. All right. Thank you. So, why are you voting for Peter Obi? I'm voting for Peter Obi because uh, this government, we know how things be since, uh, let's say, two, three years ago. We know how things goes, but this government they promise a lot. And they all the promise them promise. We haven't seen anything and they haven't fulfilled anything. So now we for even the all the youth in Nigeria now decided to change this government because we need someone that knows where we are feeling the pain. And we believe that uh, Peter Obi will be the person to know where we have the pain. So he will be the one to sort it out for us. That is why. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. No. Please, your name? My name is Shinedu. Okay, please. I want to ask, do you have a voter's card? Ah, very well. Then I can... So who will you be voting for next year? Ah, the only man who will do them. The only man who will save us. For this country don't spoil. Well, well, don't be joke. I tell you. Now, Peter will be... Yes, now the man. Do you recognize his party? Uh-uh, why not? Can you show us? Mama, no need. Mama, Papa, and <laughs> Queen. <laughs> So why do you want to vote for Peter Obi? <laughs> the only man will be do what this country wants. Number one, it will save us from uh, killing and destroying. Two, food go day, things go day, work out for the youth. Yeah? Three, everything short, we go day happy on our own. Yes. I make me one vote for him. Right. And he has all it takes. He has all it takes. Yes. And in feet, he did feet. Don't be this one. Go visit one man. Go sleep off. We know what that kind of woman be. Uh -huh. And I pity Obi go do him. All right. Thank you very much, sir. My name is Chomwe Eze. Please, what part of the East are you from? I'm an Igbo girl. Igbo girl. Anambra. Anambra. Please, you have a voter's card? Of course I have. Okay, so will you be voting next year, ma? Since I was born, I've never voted before, but I'm, I'm going to vote for this coming one because we come out in every force, in fact, to support the next president that we all had in mind with the Igbos, which I know that the educated ones had in mind, which is Mr. Peter Obi. Peter Obi. Why yes. do you want to vote for Peter Obi? I'm voting for him because I see future in the, in the life of Diamond because I can't be voting for someone that has no plan for the people. When somebody will be campaigning, we will be telling her that Emilio Ko. Why the outsider will be saying our local? Why people don't, they don't even know the difference between that, the meaning of what he's saying. So I want to vote for him because at least I know that if that man, if God, by God's grace, if he wins, things are going to be better. Even for the youth, for the children that is coming up, not what we are facing currently in this country, which is not good. Starvation everywhere, lack of education. In fact, death here and there. Insecurity. Even insecurity, all that, it's really not good for the health. And we call ourselves one Nigeria. 
Thank you, ma'am. So, do you recognize the party when you want to vote? Yes, can you identify the party? It's our party, yo. All right. I'm John by name. Oh, okay, please, which part of the East are you from? I'm from Imo State. Imo State. So, please, will you be voting next year? Obviously. Okay. So, who will you be voting for next year, please? As, as it is, we pray for a better country. Because uh, the way things are now is uh, beyond, is not what we expect. You understand? So, uh, my decision will be st uh, basically for competency, transparency, a lot of things to consider. That's why I will be rooting for a candidate for Labour Party, which is Peter Obi, Peter Gregory Obi. Did you recognize the party when you saw the party logo? Please, can you just show us the party logo here? <coughs> You really know that. <laughs> He's a uh, mama, papa, Pekin. <laughs> this is the party. All right, thank you. So, why are you voting for Peter Obi? A lot of reason. A lot of reason. Um, if I should start stating my reason now, I might take more than your one minute. So, uh, so far, without adding the tribe or religion, is audible to the deaf and visible to the blind. That Peter Obi is the right candidate because he has proven beyond every reasonable doubt that he's ready. Being a leader is not, is, is, is goes beyond sitting and signing, uh, and signing documents and policies. Do you understand? You need someone that can represent us in every aspect. Look, at, if you go to the diaspora now, you cannot even proudly bring out your green, uh, green passport because they don't regard this country anymore. And this is, this has to do with leadership failure. So we need to be, we need to represent the country in every ramification, locally and internationally. And Peter Obi has proven that, okay, look at during this campaign, he stepped up the game. Unlike the previous people that go about eating corn. Now they are coming out, they are being forced to come out to debate, to tell us what they want to offer us, what they can offer. Do you understand me? So, and I think it's because of the way Peter Obi is engaging us, engaging the youth, engaging the young one, engaging those in diaspora. So, I have a lot of reason, despite the fact that I'm, I'm from East. I'm not, I'm not being uh, tribalistic this time around. I'm not trying to be tribalistic. So, Peter Obi is whom I pray to be there. And by God's grace, our efforts will not be in vain. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please, can we meet you? Uh, my name is John Oyeka. So, what part of the East are you from? Anambra State, precisely. Anambra State. Please, you have voter's card? Sure. So, will you be voting next year, please? Sure, I will vote. Okay, so, who would you be voting for? Mm, I will vote for Peter B. Okay, please, can you just identify the party logo here? Alright, so why Peter B? Mm, I will vote for Peter B, not because he's from my state, no, other is he's my brother because he's not even giving me money. And I am, I'm sure that even if I vote for him, he will not give him money. Even if I did not vote for him, he will not even give him money. <laughs> but me, myself, I will say that it is good for one to do the right thing. Because even the Bible said that if you know the right thing and you do not do it, it's a sin unto you. And I see that Peter B, not only a credible leader, but a leader with example. A leader that I've shown in all ramifications that he's a true leader. Uh, people say that uh, if a road is good, you go there like two or three times. Peter B have shown as a leader what he did in Anambra State, where I came from. And if you listen to his words, he will always tell you that, go and verify. He is not a money looter as a leader. He is a leader that con 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 like that, I don't know how to put it, but he keeps things for the future. He's a leader that with economists, like let me say economists, economize things. So he left a lot of money in Anambra's treasury and the, the state was good. The state was developed during his time. He worked even in the educational sector. Peter B has done a lot of things for us to see that yes, this man is a leader. This man can do it. So I will vote for him with all happiness and with all treasure. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Ma. Please your name. My name is Emma Dabuchi. Emma Dabuchi. What part of the East are you from? I'm from Anambra State. Anambra State. Please, you have voter's card? I have voter's card. So, will you be voting next year? Oh, sure, sure, sure. So, who will you be voting for? 
my will be that in number one. It's in my shop already. That's why I post it here. Wow, I see. So can you just recognize, show us the party logo? Uh, uh, if anybody can see it, anywhere where you see, anywhere where you see man, woman and their son, know that that's the, the logo. Thank you. So why do you want to vote for Peter Obi? Uh, when I was in Anambra State, he has done a lot of things for us. Even our everything as in is the best among the governor we have then. Not that, but now I'm not in Anambra, I'm in Badona, but the time he was our governor, he was excellent for us. And we enjoy his leadership then. So that's why I want to I want him to come for president. Yes. How are you there? I'm a kid today. Fine, oh, thank God. I beg, what's in be your name? Ah, my name is Anthony Chidebere Obonna. Okay, which part of the east are you from? Okay, I'm from Abia State. Abia State. Yeah. All right, sir, so do you have a voter's card? I have my voter's card. Okay. Will you be voting next year election? Surely I must vote this time around. <laughs> so, who will you be voting for? Uh, I have to vote for Peter Obi. Okay. Yes. Why Peter Obi? And because I'm not voting for a party, but I'm voting for the man that I know. I have gone through his profile and I have had a lot of things. He has come to Ibadan and we have heard from him and uh, surely we want to trust him this time around. Uh, because um, at least what we have seen in him, we believe with him that God will still restore this country back. Thank you. Can you recognize the party it belongs to? Definitely, I know. My Can name. you just show us the party? Yeah, this is the party. All right. Thank you. My name is Emmanuel I'm from Anambra State. Sir, do you have a voter card? Yes, I do. Okay. Will you be voting next year, please? For sure. Oh, okay. All right. So, who will you be voting for, sir? Ah, I'll be voting for the best candidate. Nigeria is facing economic problem, so we need somebody that can fix the economic issue and the security area too. So that's why we focus on P2B. Looking at the fact that when he was a governor in Anambra State, he did well. Economic area, at least Anambra State was one of the richest then before he left the state. So Nigeria at present, we need a leader who can do that. Uh, talking about Ahmed Borat is, you know, has been he's still a young man. He's, he seems to be the best too. In the sense that he's a man that knows, you know, what it takes to put the people together. And looking at what they have done so far in Lagos, when he was a governor there, he did well too. But the age is no longer there. And bringing Muslim, Muslim tickets for loss is another big issue. So uh, I think Obi is on top of it as it stands now. Please, can you show us the party Peter Abi belongs to here? Yeah, this rebel party, no? All right, sir. Much, sir. Yeah, Thank you.